Uh, I'm just going to grab this Leona. That's mine. All right, we got a Blitz. I want to keep that, but let's grab the two-star Zaya. All right, so Zed, Kogma. Ooh, Zed, all right. All right, double mouth fight. I could have maybe sold a Zyre for, my, for the Rebels. That might have been also good as well. I got Infinity Edge. I'm, I'm gonna just go for it. I don't like rushing Infinity Edge, but you know what? It is what it is. Who plays mobile TFT? I, I did play some mobile TFT in the past. I kind of stopped playing it because, uh, you know, you, you realize you got a computer at home. And uh, you might as well just play it on your computer. Alright, to start Fiora, we got Master E. I kind of want to do three Blade Masters. Maybe I should have been buying the Zayas. I could have maybe had a three star Zaya this game, because like no one does three star Zaya anymore. And um, she is actually still pretty good if you have Shredder items. Shredder Zaya is actually still pretty good. Um, but it's it's a bit risky. You can't really rely on Shredder Zaya. Okay, Yasuo? Sure. Which server are we playing on? North America. Celestial go with Protector? Yeah, it's not gonna work. Am I Canadian? Yeah. Alright, more Master E's. And Yasuo. I kind of want to go level 8. I mean, not level 8. Wish I was. Not level 5. We got three rebel bros. Rabbit on death cap's actually okay in Yasuo. I think I'll build it. So his last breath will hit six times at level 1. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, Rabadon scales his last breath. Oh, two star mastery, sweet. Yeah, we're gonna sell that. Rabadon on E. Yeah, if we had a rapid fire cannon on E, this this would be perfect. And then roll the three star E, then we got the Bang Bros. And it's still a really solid comp. Blade Master is still pretty good. Let's make some money. Hope you stream more often. Yeah, I'm trying. Is Vanguard Mystic still good? It can be good. You need to have blue buff cast though. All right, without blue buff cast, I think that comp is garbage. Cast does like a lot of damage. All right, bunch of useless champions. Okay. So I got Frozen Heart, I'm kind of tempted to just build this. Uh, at the same time, I don't want to. If I commit to like six Blade Masters, Ribbon will be in it. She could use blue buff. I could see that happening. I, I'm definitely gonna make money here. All right, let's go to level six. And man, I kind of want to just make money, but I think we do have to put some Celestial bonus. Yeah, Celestial bonus for the team. That's tough to say. Uh, you can't really like force a comp, uh, uh, you know, depending on the galaxy you play, if you don't get those champions. So even though some galaxies have better comps to play on, like there are comps that are better for certain galaxies, you really need to roll those champions to play that comp. So the best way to play this game is to try to get a comp that can work with what you get. So we have six Blade Masters. Man, is is six Blade Master worth it right now? I feel like it's it's kind of not. Okay, I'm just gonna put Aurelia. I don't want to drop the mall fight. I think the Rebel Shield is pretty good. And I dropped the Zin because I want to make money. Uh, we want to try to make as much money as possible. We're definitely never gonna use Zins out in this comp, even in the late game. So. But I, I really value the two-star Malphite, like body blocking, and then giving the Rebel Shield. I think that's pretty good. Alright, let's grab the other chain. I hope, like, my prediction is correct. Alright, let's go Bramble Vest. 
a mastery. I still keep in the rebel shield. I was very tempted to just go level 7 right now, but... Like, just to get 6 blade masters on, but I still... I'm not sure if that's worth it. Is it worth it? Like... It is definitely worth it to put 6 blade, but to drop Malphite... Or to spend all my gold when I don't think I need to spend gold. I don't think I need to spend gold to level 7 right now. Rapid fire over Gwinsu's, yeah. I would say rapid fire over Gwinsu. Just because, like... If he has, like, triple the range or double the range or whatever... He doesn't need to walk up to the front, right? To do damage. So... Rapid fire cannon first, and then Gwinsu. Quicksilver Sash over Bramble Vest. Um, sometimes in your lobby, Bramble Vest is better if there's a lot of snipers and cybers, because they have a lot of crit items. But if you don't see a lot of them in your lobby, then you're fine. But even Jinx uses Infinity Edge, so watch out. Okay, let me get the Fizz. Alright, level, level 7. And then we have 6 Blades now. So we have 6 Blade Masters now with Shen. But uh, blue buff, either on Aurelia or Mastery or Riven. Mastery is actually okay because he can spam his ability a lot. His mana cost is only 55, so that's really low. I would consider 55 to be pretty low. Look at this E. Shredding everything. Wow, I love Mastery. He's so cool. He's so good. Mastery is so good. Is Riven a better carry with Blades or Sorks? Uh, Riven in general is better with Six Sorcerer. Go for the Teemo. Yeah, Teemo would be the safe play. Because I know Teemo works, we have blue buff as well. But I want to really make this comp work. Alright, let's go get the Blitz. We'll go level 8 now. So we can get Chrono Bonus with the Blitz Crank. Why not Slow Roll? So I'm not Slow Rolling for the 3-star E because someone has a Master E. 2-star. Um, and he might get more mastery. So in general, I don't like to roll for the three star E's anymore unless absolutely no one's playing it because um, there's a, of course just a limited number of mastery that you can get. So I don't want to waste all that gold trying to get him to three star when there are other rebel players trying to play him. So we got two tiers bow bow. Should I just yeah get the double bow? All right, all right. So just gonna do scouting again. Yeah. There's this guy with two E's. We can still go for a three-star E because he's the only one and two two players in this lobby already died because this is the little, little Legends Galaxy. But let's go for the Rapid Fire Cannon. Oh, wait. Maybe I could have just put Wukong on. No, that's fine, actually. We have Malphite, so we have two Brawlers. I don't think we even need Wukong. No, we don't need Wukong in this build. Let's go 40 gold. We don't need Wukong in this build. What's the most powerful comp late game if hit? It is definitely, right now, it's Jinx. So Jinx, Brawlers, and Rebel combo is the strongest right now. Okay, oh, Mastery healing? Wow, that clutch healing again. Nice. Alright, we got Thresh. Amazing. So we need Thresh in this build. Yeah, we don't need... Uh... Do I ever lock the shop? Yes. If I definitely need to buy some champions next turn, I'll do that. Alright, another Master E. Kind of tempted, tempted to just go level 9. But I don't think we will. But yeah, we're going to definitely try to get 3 star E. That... Ooh, look at these E's, guys. So, still keeping this team right now. So, it's good that we have a Thresh. And then, blue buff. Yeah, I guess it's blue buff Aurelia. My Aurelia already died. No, she died now. I'm just gonna wait until next turn. And then it's gonna be red buff. Red buff on Zaya. Red buff on the Zaya. Alright, let's go blue buff on the Aurelia. We're gonna go red buff on Zaya. Just give everything to Zaya. Yeah, what we could do is put Fizz at level 9 and then Zed instead of Malphite, right? That's normally what you do in this comp. But right now, we definitely want to try to get the 3 star E first. Oh, there we go. E, Ribbon. Awesome. We got Ribbon as well. 
So normally you play Riven instead of Shen. But we don't need to do that. Oh, 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 baby! Yeah! You know what? We'll just keep Riven. No, we'll keep Riven later on. Let's go, let's go. Alright, the power of E is here. Let's get it. Golden E. I have not got to play this in a ranked match yet, by the way. It's the first time I hit 3 star E in ranked for set 3.5. Alright, I guess Riven. Oh, I guess Master E. That's taken too. Um, should I go Chalice? Let me go Chalice. I got an interesting idea. Alright, Chalice. I'm going to just buff up the E. Right, he's gonna do 25%, 359 true damage. Just buff up the E. It's it, our win condition is just this guy right now. Oh my God, he's gonna get obliterated. God, look at that healing though. Here we go, Rebel Ribbon. Can we kill Rebel Ribbon? We're just saving money until we hit level nine. Yeah. No, not Rebel Ribbon. Never mind, Jinx. All right. So we got another Riven. I might actually put in two Mystic. If I can't beat this guy, like I think I should just put in two Mystic. I was thinking about doing four Chronos. We're gonna try the four Chronos, but if four Chrono fails, it's gonna be two Mystic. All right, let's go level nine. Aurelian Soul is actually really good too. Um, yeah, Aurelian Soul is better. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of key champions right here. I kind of don't think it's for Kronos. Huh. Alright, let's try this. I was gonna try the Echo. I was really going to try the Echo there with um, the Fizz, but I decided against it last minute. We hit a whole bunch of two stars. Still no Irelia though. He's dead. Okay. Yo, we're gonna sell this Irelia. We're gonna sell this Irelia. And then I'm gonna give this to Aesol. Blue buff Riven. Yeah, because she's 2-star. I'm going to give Riven the items. Because this Irelia really is not coming out, right? It's kind of annoying. Okay, again, Urgot burns my 3-star E one-shot. How cheap is that? Dude, you literally just have Urgot and win the game. <laughs> That's so BS. That 1-star Urgot 